So we're going to download the latest version of iFruit add-on from their GitHub page. And once you've got that zip archive access, go ahead and download it and open it up right away. You're going to then access your GTA 5 main directory and access your scripts folder. It's all right if you don't have one, you can simply create one. Once you've accessed your scripts folder, go to iFruit add-on and drag and drop the DLL into your scripts folder. It's that simple. And we'll move it on to native UI. All right, to make it even easier, down in the links, we have native UI, the latest version on their GitHub. Download and open up that archive. And you're simply going to take the native UI.dll and do the same thing. And you're going to drag it into your scripts folder for GTA 5. Congratulations. And this next part is going to be installing LS Life. So I just went to gta5mods.com, searched LS Life, and once I got to this page, I just downloaded the latest version. Hit that little green arrow, saved it to my hard drive, and just like that, I had these four files that I needed to select a folder, INI file, the DLL, and a PDB. So select those four files. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag them over to our scripts directory for GTA 5. And congratulations, you've successfully installed LS Live. This last section, you're pretty much done unless you want to change some configuration options. Once you open this lslive.ini file, you can change the inventory key, the dealing key to cancel it, or the stash key. There's some debug options. You can do hard mode or even turn on LC City Rewind. That's it for this tutorial. You're pretty much done. Now it's time to configure your trays in the upright position as we are about to make our descent into the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you, and I'll see you next time in another flight to GT. Why, why? Damn it, I messed that up.